Oh, it doesn't do enough. I gotta sack things off, dude. And he's weak armor. Oh no, I'm about to get swept. I'm about to get swept. Butterfree, go! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that is our squad. We're good. Let's head over to Giovanni and let's get it going, man. Just gonna jump right into things today. Okay, so we're about to take on Giovanni here in Radical Red. This is our second Giovanni battle. I've got a really cool strategy basically that involves using uh, Magic Bounce Hatterene to bounce back the Stealth Rocks from the Hippowdon uh, early game. Um, and then I basically try to use Rain. I've got Umbreon as a way to deal with Poltegeist. I've got Mischievous as a, or Miss Magius as a way to deal with uh, Offensive Kangaskhan, which is a strategy I've used in the past. So this is a really big battle. Um, I feel relatively comfortable, but you have to remember that Excadrill and Garchomp are just massive threats. And I don't really have a ton of good switch in, so I have to be very careful about that. But I think if we time our rain turn just right, then we should be able to do really well with, um, with Ludicolo. Okay, let's do it, man. Let's get it going. We're gonna jump into Giovanni here. This is not an easy battle, but I feel confident. Let's make it happen. Let's open up this door and let's get it going. If you've been watching this series on YouTube, feel free to tune into our live streams at twitch.tv slash adrive. Stream pretty much every day and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you guys are new. Giovanni time, baby, let's get it. Adrive, so we meet again. The president and I are disclosing, discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown up matters or experience a world of pain. All right, let's see what you got for me, Gio. Leading off with his hippo, as we know. Uh, I'm leading off with uh, Magnolia here for the Intimidates. This just uh, allows me to beat this thing a little better. Perfect. So now we have Stealth Rocks up and my opponent does not, which is really good. So now, now I get to just click Psychics over and over again. I could try to Coal Mine, but he's got too many physical attackers and he's actually probably just gonna go hard into the Excadrill anyway. Here comes that Excadrill. I do break his Sash. And I get to hit him pretty hard with a Psychic, which is really nice. I don't really do too much to him though. So now Excadrill is kind of scary because he very well could try to go for a Sword Stance here. So I think what I need to do is I need to go into Splash. Uh, actually, no, we go into Magnolia, 100%. You go into Magnolia here. Because him having Sand right now isn't a big deal. He's going to outspeed me anyway. So he does go for the Sword Stance. I do have a Charty Berry, so he's plus one. I always live this though if he Rock Slides, I think, because of the Charty Berry. Um, I think I always live. We're gonna find out, aren't we? I'm gonna Aquafang. He does go for the Rock Slide. He hits the Charty Berry. We should live this no problem, though. I'm assuming. Let's see. Should live this no problem. He's only plus one. I'm fully physically defensive. We actually eat that up. I do get an Aquafang off. Let's see how much this does, because I'm not invested. That's a big KO. Okay, so we got rid of Excadrill, and Magnolia does its job. That's massive. Really, really big wins there. And here comes Hippowdon again. Okay, so... I have no reason to not do what I just did again. So we just go back out in a Mad Hatter. Really no reason not to. I just want to keep Stealth Rocks off the field. There's really, you know, that's kind of the advantage here. Here comes the Stealth Rocks again. We bounce them. It doesn't matter. He's going to stay in this time. Go for the Earthquake. This may do a lot of damage. So let's see how much this is going to do. 150 down to 86. Pops our berry. We live. As long as we two-shot here with Psychic, we put ourselves in an incredible spot. This is exactly what we're looking for. And this should do it. Two shot. Perfect. Exactly the damage we want. And he's got one turn left of sand. The reason why we want sand gone is because the Garchomp does have sand veil. We really don't want to be playing around with evasiveness and, and potential misses. So no crits there. Earthquake has no secondary effects. So Sunga comes off and finishes off the hip out on. Kangaskhan is one of the kind of the least threats, in my opinion, when I have ghosts. So he pretty much always clicks fake out here. Uh, I wonder if there's a situation where it doesn't, but I think it just clicks fake out. So we just go ghost either way. As long as it doesn't go for crunch, we're fine. It actually goes for body slam. So that's an interesting situation where because the Kang was so much faster, it didn't have to do that. So we're just gonna Willow, hopefully not miss. I missed. Now I have to take a crunch to the face. This could end up really badly if it gets defense drops. Okay, we take it, no defense drops, just don't miss. Okay, we hit this one. I just needed to hit one of the two. Um, the key here is just keep this thing from getting up body um, power punches, really. Okay, that does pop our berry. We're not in the perfect situation. I would have liked to have Miss Media set a little bit more health. No defense drops is really nice. And now we click Dazzling Gleam. Um, and I would think Dazzling Gleam 2x should be fine here. Uh, not quite. I may need to pivot out on a crunch. I really wanted to keep Miss Media a little healthier. 
Um, I do trust that I can live another one. I'm just not sure if that's the route I want to go. But some will t uh, I think I, I have to just play this out right now the way it is. I can't really afford to take damage on anyone else. So I think the play here is I do just go for the Dazzling Gleam. Missing that first Will-O-Wisk is big. There's a lot of damage that I, I actually take extra on Miss Magius. But we should be fine here. Okay. So I can finish him off on this next turn. It's Guard Chomp next. Okay. So I would have preferred to see Poltegeist. Um, we have to 100% go Splash here. We have to set up the rain. And then I got to figure out... This is kind of sketch. I'm not going to lie. Um... He rock slides. Okay, that's actually best case scenario is him rock sliding there. That's actually best case scenario. I think I have to Scald Hope for a burn. He does Swords Dance. The problem is V Earthquakes, I think he knocks me out. So let's get a Scald off. If I get a burn, it eliminates all this conversation. So let's just get the burn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, dude. All right. It's all I needed, baby. It's all I needed. Now we flip turn out. Just don't crit me with an Earthquake, please. Very nice, very nice. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now I just go Jimmy, and he's gonna take burn. I'm faster, so I get to just go for the Ice Beam here. I could also Scald if I want. Doesn't matter, we'll Scald. Pick up the KO either way. And then all that's left is Poltegeist. Poltegeist has Shadow Ball, Giga Drain, Shell Smash, Stored Power. So he's definitely gonna be Shell Smashing here. He always clicks Shell Smash. The question is, do I wanna go Umbreon right now? Right out the gates? Or do I want to get a big Scald off? Actually, I think I can get two Scalds off. How many turns of rain do I have? I don't know how many turns of rain I have. I think I want a Scald, though. Nice. He Shell Smashes as expected. If I have one more turn of rain, I just win. But I think our rain does end. Let's see. Give me one more turn of rain. I wasn't counting. Rain stops. Okay. So now I have to figure out... This could be a little sketch. Like, I definitely win this game at this point. Because I can set up rain again and then go Jimmy. The thing I'm really worried about is now I have to go into Luna and I have to take a hit. I have to take two hits. But hopefully he just stored powers. He gets the drop, which is kind of big. I have to just trust I can live this. I'm going to go for the Assurance and hopefully I don't die to a Giga Drain. I have to trust that I can live a plus two Giga Drain. It's really plus three. I think Umbreon's bulky enough, though. He got so much health back. Let's see if this does enough. That special defense drop's kind of big. I may have to sack things off. This may do enough, though. Oh, it doesn't do enough. I gotta sack things off, dude. And he's weak armor. Oh, no. I'm about to get swept. I'm about to get swept. Oh, no. I think I get swept. I have to sack off Hatterene. He has weak armor, not cursed body, dog. All right, I gotta sack off Hatterene. I think I just choked. Mmm. This is very bad. This is... Dude, I, if I lost this right now, I'm going to be really salty. Because I had this so perfectly played, too. He got that special defense drop, dude. Which made all the difference because he wouldn't have gotten enough recovery, bro. Please don't KO me. Please don't KO me. Oh, I'm not going to do enough still. I'm not going to do enough. Oh, I did! Okay! He had the weak armor drop. We're in it. We're in it. We're in it. Oh, dude. Ludi would have outsped in rain, but he got a weak armor boost to boost his speed. I didn't anticipate that. I thought he still had cursed body. So let me explain how that almost went really badly, right? So everything was great until I ran out of rain, right? I knew the Poltergeist was going to shell smash. My play was always go Umbreon there. The problem is normally I go Umbreon on the shell smash, but this time I went Umbreon after the shell smash because I went for the scald in rain, which almost KO'd, right? We were almost there anyway. Uh, Umbreon comes in and then I got the special defense drop on the switch in. So because because I got the special defense drop on the switch in, um, it made it so Umbreon was no longer able to comfortably take those hits. So as a result, um, I put myself in a really bad spot there. Luckily, I was able to save it, but if Umbreon does not live that Giga Drain there, if we get crit, we actually straight lose at that point in the game. Because my whole thought was my backup plan to pull to guys was Ludicolo and Rain, but after the weak armor activated, I no longer had that option because Pulte guys at Shell Smash plus weak armor guarantees it outspeeds Ludicolo and Rain no matter what. So unfortunately, wasn't much I could do there. And it's easy to say in the chat, so risky without Sucker Punch. You don't get to just have Sucker Punch on whatever you want, dude. You don't get to choose those things. It's... But either way, we walk away with one feint. Uh, Mad Hatter does go down, which is a, definitely a tough loss, but uh, all things considered, I'll take that. I'll take that match because we almost got swept, so. Whew.
Did I ever grab my Lapras? We do have guaranteed Lapras. Uh, I'm gonna come back in here and search the whole place. Our next boss battles are basically, we've gotta do Sabrina and, and yeah, I mean, Sabrina is really the next boss battle, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move forward and I'm gonna grab my Snorlax. I'm gonna grab a bunch of different things. So, all right, let me look at what my options are, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna grab Metagross. I'm gonna just stick to it. I just know how good Metagross is. Pokemon I feel really comfortable with, and I think it's just really strong. So I am gonna go with Beldum. Uh, we are gonna upgrade it to its shiny form, so I'm gonna pay double the price. Would you like its hidden ability? Uh, I don't think so. We want clear body, probably. 200,000, is this correct? Yes, thank you, enjoy. I received the Beldum. Croakstool, thank you, you were the most recent sub. Bashful Nature, decent stats minus attack and HP. Yeah, kind of bad, actually. Okay. It is what it is. All right, um, so now let's figure out what my strategy is gonna be for this this upcoming battle, because this is really important. So, hey! <laughs> okay. Someone said just keep going up and down until you get there. All right. So guys, this battle is one of the hardest battles in the game. There's no doubt about it. Sabrina, double battle, very, very challenging. Uh, the key to our success, in my opinion, is if we just can hit this turn one Meteor Mash, I really like our chances, I really do. So we just need to not miss the turn one Meteor Mash here, and I think we can do this. Wish me luck. Backseat Gaming is banned. All right, emote only mode, let's get it. And let's do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Woo, okay. I had a vision of your arrival. I've had psychic power since I was a child. It startled when I, started when I, a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. I dislike battling, but if you wish, I will throw, show you some, some, whatever. Whatever, just battle me, Sabrina. Gosh, who's reading anyway? All right, let's see it. Hatterene and Dee, Dee in Ultra Balls. I thought they were gonna be flipped, so I'm already thrown off, but we've got Pansy. And as long as we have Pansy, we gotta believe in Pansy. All right, Psychic Seed's activating like bosses. Just don't miss the Meteor Mash. Meteor Mash into Hatterene. Charge Beam into Hatterene. Charge Beam goes first. We're gonna hit twice, and we're gonna get two boosts. Yeah, that's really close. I think I needed Meteor Mash. I don't think I would have gotten it without Meteor Mash. So let's not miss it. Expanding Force, that's fine. This should do very little to me. Did a little bit more than I thought, but that's okay. Don't miss. This should KO. This should KO. I guess there's a chance it lives on like one, but it should KO. Good start, baby, good start! No trick room, let's go! Okay. Crawdont? Crawdont, okay. Now, I'm pretty sure plus two giraffe rig going for charge beam into Crawdont gets the KO. All right, so Pansy's sitting at plus four special attack. <laughs> you love to see it. Thank you, Dave, for 44. So gonna expanding force again, which means I probably have to save Pansy now because it took a lot of damage. I hit another Meteor Mash. All right, now the question is what comes on the field next? It's Conk, okay, that's fine. I beat Conk no problem here with another Psychic. So I think the play here is you Meteor Mash the Ndidi I could, I wonder if Boom Bursting here is a better option. So now at this point, we're trying to basically get the proper positioning, right? So I know I can KO, I'm at 81 out of 193. So um, I'm above a third, so I can live one more Expanding Force. So right now the objective is, I know I can KO this Conkelder with whatever I do, and then it's in DD Porygon Gardevoir left. How do I make it, like, I'm just trying to make sure that whatever happens next, is I can deal with the stuff that comes on the field. Like if Gardevoir hits the field, I wanna make sure I can deal with the Gardevoir. So I'm actually thinking about going into Fatterstein. All right, we're gonna Meteor Mash the Ndidi, maybe get an attack boost, and then we're gonna Psychic the Conkelder and finish that off. Even a Solfest doesn't save this Conkelder. If I was a faster Giraffe Rig, we actually would just win, but. Okay, here comes the Expanding Force. As long as I don't get crit, Giraffe Rig eats this. Nice. So now the play is we're gonna Meteor Mash the Gardevoir and swap out Pansy into Snorlax. 
He's gonna trace my parental bond, no! Oh no, okay, so we're gonna Meteor Mash the Gardevoir, and we're gonna swap out Pansy and go into Fatterstein. I could also protect, but I, I feel like the play is you just go, you just go Snorlax. Yeah, I don't really see any point to that. Although, actually, no, Protect is a really good play here because if I Protect and then Porygon Trick Rooms, no, I think you always, uh, maybe you do just, you do just Protect and then switch to Snorlax on the following turn. Yeah, I guess you're protecting the Snorlax from one turn of damage anyway. What is this Gardevoir doing? Is he expanding force? Is he Hyper Voice or does he try to Shadow Ball my, my Metagross? I should be able to live one Shadow Ball. Hopefully it, it attacks the Pansy, but I think it goes for a spread move. It does Hyper Voice, so we can always live this. Take it very well. This is the one to not miss. Don't miss. Double Ice Beam into Pansy doesn't work. Meteor Mash hits on the Gardevoir. Snags the KO, baby. Let's get it. And I think we win now. Here's one of those things where it's like, Pretty sure Pansy at plus four. I can switch around and play some games here, but I'm pretty sure Pansy at plus four, Psychic, just KOs Porygon. I have to do it. If I lose Giraffe Rate because I messed up the calc, then so be it. But I feel like I have to just do it. It's too good to not take this opportunity to beat a Porygon two with a Giraffe Rate going for Psychic. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. If it costs me my Giraffe Rate, then I'm an idiot, but. Look at that! Let's go, I never even switched. Tell me that wasn't the big brain strat. 6 owing Sabrina without switching. I'm gonna just dust my shoulders off. One of the hardest battles in the game. That's what I'm talking about. Giraffe rig, the greatest of all time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm here all day. I think anyone who's played Radical Red understands how big of a deal that was, but for some of you who may just be casually watching or maybe not super inclined of how difficult this game is, that was really insane. I'm actually impressed um, that that strategy worked as well as it did, because that battle is really hard. Okay. Let's change the music and let us take on Whitney here. For the last time, I am not taking any more autographs. Oh, that's not what you're here for? I'm terribly sorry. There are so many guys asking to take pictures with me, and then they make gruesome requests, like demanding feet pics. It's disgusting and also kind of disturbing, don't you think? You guys can subscribe to my OnlyDans account, available now, for just $599 a month. I'll send you feet pics. Anyway, I'm Whitney, the world-renowned Miltank user. Perhaps you've heard of me, and if this is an intense battle what you want, then that's what you're gonna get. All right, let's do it. Uh, chat should be an emote only mode, so let me fix that. All right, Whitney, so obviously we're facing Whitney much later in the game now. I'm doing it because again, I want the Eviolite for our Corsola that we just found. Typically you battle Whitney before Surge, but it scales in this game, so you could really battle it whenever. Um, I'm choosing to battle it now. I would have skipped Whitney if I didn't just get a Corsola, but again, I feel like having Eviolite is helpful because we'll use it against Chuck, uh, which is the fighting type gym leader, or in this game really. And then I think we'll, we'll probably use it a few times. What's up, Huffy? Thanks so much, dude, for 70, man. And here comes Ndidi. So Ndidi is gonna try to go for Mystical Fire here. That's the worst thing it does to me is Mystical Fire. There's no way he one-shots me with a Mystical Fire. So I think I just stay in and I just Meteor Mash. There's no way this is gonna KO me. It's a Mystical Fire. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. All right, what's next? Drampa. Okay, so I'm like pretty sure I one-shot Drampa with Zen Headbutt, but I don't think I'm gonna risk it. Like, why am I gonna risk it? I'll just go Fatterstein. He's gonna Flame Burst me. I just need to Body Slam, and, and he's gonna actually switch out, so I get a free Body Slam on something. It's gonna be the Mill Tank. It's fine. I don't wanna Paralyze, though. We don't wanna get a Para right now. Okay, I don't get it. That's fine. Now we go Ghost. Yep. And now we want to burn it. So you just Willow, and I missed, and I get Ice Punch to the face again. And now I burn it again. I don't miss this time. I get Ice Punch to the face again. Okay. Um, now the Mill Tank is pretty much walled. I think I could try to do some shenanigans here. Let's go Magnolia, get an Intimidate off on him. Let's go back in a Ghost, see what he wants to do. Back in a Ghost. Here comes the Drampa. Okay, Shockwave, Dragon Breath, Flame Burst, Roost. 
I don't think I stay in. I think I just go fatter steed again. Here comes the flame burst. Let me just body slam. And there's the switch again. And it probably Whitney. Or er, Miltank, rather. Yep. And it has to we go ghost. Body slam. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do that one more time. Switch that again. Okay, so it does not like that then. And then we Aquafang. Okay, so I beat Miltank. Still gotta deal with Vigoroth and Drampa though. Drampa I beat every time with Snorlax. It's just the Vigoroth now. And here comes the Drampa. So I could beat the Drampa right now if I if I Ice Fang and don't get fully paralyzed, but like why am I gonna risk that when I can just do this? And he stays in this time, so this is really good for us. I basically guarantee the KO on the Drampa now. It's gonna take a few turns, but we'll get there. There's no reason for him to switch out. And then I basically just have to beat the Vigoroth in a 1v1, which I should be able to do with Amoongus. Plus everything else I have. Oh, he's got Berserk. I guess I didn't really think that he had Berserk, but I don't think that matters. I don't think there's any way he kills me with this. And I do get the KO with the critical hit on the Drampa, so that goes down. And now Whitney just has her, her, um, her Vigoroth left. So the key to dealing with Vigoroth here is I'm gonna go into Amoongus. That means if it starts bulking up on me, I can just clear smog it. And then I think all I gotta do now is I can either Toxic it or Spore it, but I think you just Toxic. He bulks up again. I go for Toxic, and now I think we just win. I just click clear smog. He paralyzes me. I guess that's how he wins. And then I think now we just go Shady, get an Intimidate off. He body slams, then I win with Wicked Blow. Okay, sweet. GG's Whitney. Thanks for the EVLA and 8 Moo Milks. I appreciate you. Thank you, Whitney. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Moo Moo Milks and Eevee Light. Oh, yeah. That's that. Let's go. Got a little sketchy there. That mill tank uh, was a little tricky a few few moments, but uh, I wasn't really stressing it. I think we had it either way. So overall, big wins for us, man. We'll take that. We beat Whitney, we beat Giovanni, and we beat Sabrina today. So now... Our next boss battle is actually Chuck. But Ch I feel like we just destroyed Chuck, bro. Uh, feeling pretty good though. We're, we're really starting to get kind of down to the tail end of the game here. I know I beat Koga, so it's really, and I, I, I feel pretty confident against Chuck with what I have. Um, and then I want that Crabominable because Crabominable is actually really good. I want that Crabominable again.